Hi, in this session I'm going to be covering how to create a thermometer style chart. So what a thermometer style chart really basically does is it shows where a, any actual figures uh, are compared to a target. So usually the targets are the same over a period of time, um, but your targets can also change over a period of time. But in this example, I'll just use a target that stays consistent. So this is what a thermometer style chart would look like. We've got uh, one bar that is thinner than the other bar and uh, this would basically uh, shoot up if it's over the target and it'll be with uh, under the under the bar line if it's uh, below the target. So let's go ahead and see how we do this. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and delete this chart and we'll just recreate it from scratch. So what we need to do is just select the data that uh, we've got that we're going to make the chart with. And this is in Excel 2007. Go into the tab here and insert just a plain no vanilla 2D column chart. Now we've got our column chart here and just a couple things we just need to customize. Um, I like the, the black and light blue color, so I'm just going to change these bars, the first bar, which is the customer satisfaction bar and I'm going to change that color to black. I like I like the black color. So what we can do there is I like to use the keyboard shortcuts and that's going to be control 1 or or you can just right click it but basically I like to use the keyboard shortcut control 1 and I'm going to change the fill solid color to black here. All right. I don't really need to close this because the nice thing about Excel 2007 is you can just select your other bar here and we can do our changes here. So what we want to do for the other set of bars, the target bars, is we want to put it on another axis. We want to create a secondary axis for it. As you can see here, oops, let me just move it over here, we've got two axes now primary access for the customer satisfaction and secondary access for the target amounts and what we want to do is also change the gap width to 50 and now as you see that it's gotten a little fatter let's change the fill color and I like that little blue color I had at first so I'm going to give it a solid fill and but change the color to this aqua color and give it a transparency of about uh, 50 percent. Now let's go down to 50 percent. As you can see here, it shows the target bars and the customer satisfaction bars. But let me go ahead and close this. But you can see that we've got some areas here where the customer sat is higher than the target. And the reason why this sh it shows like it's under is because we have our other secondary vertical axis there and it's kind of skews the chart representation. So what we just need to do is go ahead and click on that, select it, and just delete it. And that would give us a better representation of this thermometer style chart. And you know this is kind of nice. We can just kind of make it a little smaller. And this is something that we can put on a dashboard. Um, if making it that small does not make it look too good, you can always adjust the uh, size, the font size of your X and Y axis. So that's a little simple brief overview of how to create a thermometer style chart. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.